Hey everyone, my name is Michael McKnight. I'm an ultra marathoner and a gnarly nutrition athlete. And these workouts that I'm about to share with you are something that I do weekly. They are built around maintaining some of your core muscles that you need for running. Uh, biceps, shoulders, core, legs. I do them, like I said, once a week, especially in the off season. I sometimes double down on them. It helps me keep mobility. It helps me build the muscle in the areas that I need it the most. Uh, the best part is it's very easy to do at home. I haven't been to a gym in months, close to a year now, and um, all you need is a pull-up bar and a couple of resistance bands, and you'll be good to go. Hope you enjoy. Today we're going to go through the Tough 10, Hard 10, whatever you want to call it workout. You have 10 exercises, 25 reps, and you go through it two times. So you're going to do one, do one, do one, do one. As soon as you get done with the 10, you're going to go back through it and do it all over again. Some of these, you know, we're going to do pull-ups. When I first started doing it, and even now, I can't do 25 full pull-ups. So it's totally okay to use your resistance band to help out with it. The way I like to use it is I put it right in the middle, and look through it, and just have it right there in the middle. So you can start out doing it unassisted, and as soon as you get tired, do it assisted, okay? So again, 10 exercises. 25 reps, three times. First one we got, simple air squat. Remember, the easiest way to do a squat is look up at the ceiling. That helps you do it in a correct form. Um, so you're gonna get here 25 times. So you just go one, two, three, four, five. 25 times. Next is push-ups with heel raises. So, military-style push-up. You're gonna go down. As you come up, raise that heel. It'll help if you can see it, right? I don't have a lot of space to work with. So, you're gonna go down. As you come up, lift the heel up. Alternate. 25 total times. Next, you have planks. Elbow or hand. And for this one, you're going to do it for a minute instead of 25 reps. You can't do reps on planks. So, planks for a full minute. Self explanatory, right? Next, you have toe raises. Um, you know, find something that you can use to give yourself some depth on. Step. You do it on a dumbbell like this, balance is sometimes difficult, but 25 times. Reverse step back lunge. You're just gonna go like this. 25 total times. Reverse step back lunges. Okay? Pull up. You can alternate on this again. You can go as a true chin up with your biceps. You can go true, true pull up to get your shoulders. You can alternate. You're doing 25 reps two times. So you're doing 50 total reps. So you can mix it up throughout it if you need to. But do it as many times as you can. And if you get tired, a few reps in. You can take a break, or you can get the assistance. Okay, if you get tired of chin-ups, switch to the pull-up. 25 times. Next on the list, bridge adductions with band. So, you're gonna put this band on. Again, this one's 25 as well. So you're gonna go into the bridge, 
hold it, you're gonna come down, do an abduction. So keep your legs out. I'll let you see it in the back. So you're gonna go up, hold it, come down, out. One, two, three. You can do that 25 times. And the reason we're gonna do, you know, a lot of the workouts I'll have you do involves abductions, lateral walks, wall sits. It's gonna strengthen your hips, it's gonna strengthen your glutes. And as a result, you're gonna have a stronger IT band. Uh, I used to have IT band issues all the time until I started doing these. I haven't had an IT band issue in over a couple of years. So glute work, hip work, very important to being an efficient runner. Next on the list is the Bulgarian split squat. The best way this one's gonna work is if you have something soft to put your foot on. So for this, we'll use a chair. But another name some people have for it are single leg squats. You're gonna get your leg, one leg up back here. You're gonna do a squat. Just with one leg, okay? You have a, a bench press, bench, that works. You're gonna do 13 on one leg, and 13 on the other leg, so 26 total. You don't have to do 25 on each leg. This is a good exercise to work on your balance too. If you can get a device, this one wasn't the best, it was a little high. Um, but if you can get something that goes a little bit lower so you can let, let your knee touch the ground. This is just a little too high so I wasn't able to touch the ground. Next is decline push-ups. Same thing, ideally whatever you use for your Bulgarian split squat, you're gonna to wanna to use for this. This is a little high for idealness, but just to show you what it is, it'll work. You're gonna get something to put your legs up on like this, right about where your ankle is. You're gonna do push-ups. 25 times. And then last on the list is bicycles. Finishing up with some core. 25 times. So one, two, three, four, five. Get your elbow to touch your leg each time. And that's the workout. You're gonna do it two times. So you're gonna go through it all again, 25 reps on each. One minute for the planks. Again, it's air squat. Push-ups with heel raises, planks, toe raises, reverse step back lunge, pull up, bridge abductions with band, Bulgarian split squat, decline push-ups and bicycles. And that's your workout for the day. Have a good